Meanwhile, a private developer has uprooted 65 coconut trees planted by some media practitioners in Kumasi to make way for a construction project. The trees were planted to protect wetlands in Kumasi and its environs. This includes the banks of the Subin River at Denyame, an area prone to flooding anytime it rains heavily. Unfortunately, these trees did live, did not live to see the light of day. Join News' is Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin finds out why the trees were destroyed at a time the country has committed to take climate action. About unrestrained cutting of trees that once served as wind break in the once beautiful garden city of the country, the journalists, most of whom are environmental activists, were only vigilant about the environmental devastation. They just wanted to make a difference and help in greening the city of Kumasi. In total, 75 coconut trees were planted in a one-day exercise with plans to extend the project to other areas. The Ghana Journalist Association led by its regional chair, Kisley Hope, and other senior members chose coconut trees because of its diverse benefits. One such is its ability to provide shade, fruits, and income. The location for the plantation was ideal because coconut trees need at least one inch of water per watering. Discussion we came in, they made us to understand that the site was a buffer zone. And my little understanding of buffer zone, we agreed uh, because uh, we know that uh, it will be protected from high human impact, negative high human impact. And so we uh, wholeheartedly, you know, accepted to do the plantation project there. If I not be KMA giving us, you know, DJ has not the power to just uh, pick up itself and choose a place and then do this. It's a national project because we wanted the place to be a coconut groove in the name of Ghana Journalists Association as our contribution to the fight against uh, climate change and then greening the Kumasi and looking at the uh, location. Two years on, the journalists would have expected their trees to grow beautifully. But that is not the case. Structures are being constructed on the land known as wetland because of its high level of saturation. Assuming these coconut trees were alive, they would have provided what only nature can give, oxygen and fruits. But it is just what it is. We are not a serious country, we are not a serious people because we know how important tree is to life, tree is to health, tree is to everything. So if somebody can just go and cut it off, we have regional security council here and even where the tree was planted, it's right within a security zone area. Because You're live on Join News today with me, Daniel Daza. Stay tuned for business coming up next with Daryl Quow.